Hey guys, okay, so let me just start off by saying What's up? I'm just kidding. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Um, so I know my voice is like kind of like disgusting probably I'm sick Sorry if it makes you feel weird or whatever Um I just want to say this is my first story time and before this video starts go get yourself some popcorn or some Oreos and your drink or your beverage whatever you prefer um let me just be 100% honest I don't know how to do this I was probably like I want to say I was maybe I'm not really sure how old I was really but, um, I want to say I was seven and my brother was six. Like, he just turned six, my little brother. And, um, me and him. Let me just say that. Ah, cheers. The motherfucking tea. We were hustlers. Like, we were hustlers. All my siblings, we were hustlers. We would literally show up to the house. We were young, too. No job, no nothing. We'll show up at the house with cash. Me and my little brother, we used to sell, like, we would go to the store, we'll buy, like, like, okay, we went to the store, we bought Oreos, like, the little pack of Oreos, you know, and we would sell it more than what we bought it for, and we would sell it to, like, anybody, adults, kids, it don't matter, like, we'll sell it to anybody, we'll go to knocking, at, knocking to every neighbor, like, excuse me, do you want to build a snowman? I'm just kidding. No, we'll be like this. Hi, um, I was wondering if you would like to buy snacks or something to drink from us. And they will look at us and they would just be like, oh, okay, what do you have? We'll just show her our whole bag of like snacks, drinks, everything we had, dude. Like anything we had, we would just show them and they'll be like, okay, I'll get that, that, that. And they'll get more than one. More than one, but we would sell the price like I think everything that we were selling was more than two dollars, at least two dollars or more, I believe. And um, I remember this one time, uh, it was a hot day, so we were selling ice cream, drinks, um, some chips, a little bit. This car pulled up, I want to say it was like maybe a blue car, I can't really remember. It's like all a haze to me because this was like when I was younger. And like I never really focused on that cuz like it was like kind of a scary moment now thinking about it cuz it's just like dang what if I got in that car what if he drove away everyone would be like RIP Alexis everyone that knew me not a lot of people but um, this guy came up and we only had like maybe 10 drinks on us and two ice creams cuz we already sold like everything else and he was just like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, oh, we're selling. Would you like something to drink? And he was just like, yeah, what do you have? And we showed him what we had. And he was just like, okay, I'll get one of those, that, that. And it was just like, that's a lot of drinks. Like, I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, maybe he just, I don't know, whatever. It's money. He's giving me money. It's cool. Take everything. Give me all of your money. Give me your fucking money. <laughs> he bought both of the ice creams. We had one more drink left, right? And he was just like, okay, I'll get that one too. And I was just like, okay. And then I told him how much it cost, right, for all of it. Well, for the last drink, because he already bought everything separate. And then he wanted the last drink by itself type thing. I don't know, it was weird. And then I told him, uh, three bucks. And he was just like looking and looking and looking. And he was like, oh, dang, I think I ran out of money. But I really want that juice. And I was just like, oh, well, then come back. We'll be here still. He was just like, okay, yeah. And then he was going to drive off. And then he'd like stopped and i was just like um maybe he found the three bucks and he was just like wait come back over here and i went and i was just like yes and then my little brother was like right next to me we were both like right there just like okay let me just before i start like what really went down i just want to say that i never really understood what stranger danger was i heard it more than once but I never really understood it. And I never really thought that like, oh my God, someone's gonna take me. Like, 
why would you take me like I, I don't know I just never thought I would be the one to get taken you get me like like I never really thought about it but now thinking about it I'm just like damn like I'm lucky my older brother was there like I'm really lucky so I didn't know about stranger danger really I never really understood it I understood like oh you don't talk to strangers but I mean we were already talking to strangers we were selling to strangers you know like so I don't know <laughs> I don't know like I never really thought like that someone's gonna kidnap me so he was just like, well, I really want that juice. I will go get my money and buy it, but I have puppies. Do you want puppies? And I love animals, guys. I'm not going to front. I freaking love animals. You want to give me a turtle? I'll take it in a heartbeat. You want to give me your puppy? I'll take it in a heartbeat. You want to give me your kitten? I'll take anything you got, like any animal, snake, anything. I was just like, oh, yeah, I would love to take a puppy. I didn't even ask my mom. I don't even have to ask my mom. Like, I'll just bring in a random animal out of nowhere. I know I've done that more than once. Like, I found animals on the streets. And, like, I would just bring them in. And I'll be like, Mom, look. This is my new dog, Bob. This is my new dog, Pablo. She would get mad, but she got used to it. Where was I? So the guy was just like, I have puppies. I have, like, five puppies. And I was just like, oh, cool. And he was just like, I don't want to have them all in my car. So you could pick out one. So... Do you just want to come and you could just pick one out at my house? You don't even have to go inside the house. And I was just like, hmm. And I told my little brother, thinking he's macho man, gonna protect me. He was like, let's go. So I was opening the door and I was about to get in. And um, the guy, like, he started saying, like, he started, like, mumbling weird, like, words. I don't know what he was saying, but he was saying something underneath his breath. And it was just getting weird. You know when he locks it, the thing goes down. And then when you unlock it, it goes up. And you could even pull it up to get out. Like, pull it up and then open the door to get out because it's unlocked. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, well, when I went in, the thing was, like, broken. Like, it wasn't there. But I was getting in either way. Um... Well, I wasn't getting in anyways, because when I opened it, I only had one foot in, and then that's when I noticed that the the thing was missing. Here's the car. My brother was just walking, walking around the car so he could get over here. But before he even reached over here, my older brother grabbed me, pulled me back. But my little brother didn't get in at all. He didn't get in. He kind of got like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? And the guy looked back, he was just like, what are you doing? They're gonna come with me. My brother was just like, you need to get out of here, I'm gonna call the cops, uh, you pervert, you weirdo, and like, the guy just got like, I don't know, he got, he got mad kind of, I know he said something, I can't really remember what he said, but he said something to my brother. My brother pulled out his phone, his little flip phone, that's when we had flip phones, and he started calling. And then the guy just took off real fast, just took off, and my brother ended the call. He was just like, oh well. And my brother was just, he was scolding me. He was just like, you never get into a stranger's car, this and that. I was just looking at him all confused, and then he was just like, you don't ever do that. And I was like, what about the puppies? And he was just like, no, no, there is no puppies, Alexis. And I started crying when he said there was no puppies. I started falling out like crying we ended up going home he was upset with me like very upset with me that i would get in a stranger's car honestly i am like very thankful for my brother like i'm just thinking about it right now i'm not gonna lie life isn't the greatest right we all know that life is not the greatest we all have our ups and downs and honestly my brother if he he wasn't there honestly i, I wouldn't be here like i wouldn't at all like I was what like seven years old I'm not gonna be able to protect myself my little brother wouldn't even be here me and my little brother wouldn't be here at all it's just crazy not thinking about it and it's like my angel is my brother he saved me he saved my life he saved my little brother's life cuz my brother would have went down with me and we would have never been found would have been sad for all the little kids, if your parents tell you about Stranger Danger and you're just letting it come in and out, don't do it because, like, it's actually serious. I wish I knew because I didn't understand it. I just let it come in and out and I wouldn't listen and I didn't understand it fully. I know that now, thinking about it, like, 
I get paranoid when I walk down the street. I get paranoid. I just walk and I see a car holler at me or I see a person making a U-turn to me. It's just scary. All right, well, I'm going to end it here because my camera's about to die right now. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Hit the bell if you haven't so you can be updated on all my new uh, YouTube videos and everything. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day and enjoyed this video. Bye, guys.